everyone welcome to my channel everything spice my name is Tanya happy new year everybody 2023 is commencing and today's the day so I hope you had a wonderful morning afternoon or evening whatever time you decided to celebrate it it's here you got a whole year to celebrate 364 now get started get started Do you have any new year's resolutions I don't have any no just up my game man and make it better so today on the channel I worked all day so this is late in the afternoon so i got my oven preheated at 450 degrees and i'm making prime rib because this is the new year man new year new you and it gets we gotta start it i don't know we gotta elevate the game right every single time every single time and prime rib is where it's at so i have here my prime rib already set and ready to go so i got this gorgeous piece of beef look at this deliciousness and i've already dressed it so come over here come into the pan look at this look at this pretty piece of beef baby isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous isn't it isn't it isn't it yes it's absolutely fabulous fabuloso baby and what i'm going to do with this is i got my potatoes okay i got whole potatoes about three of them i'm just going to cut them in half you're going to hear that sound of a cutting board because it's the last cutting board I'm just going to cut it in half, okay? And that's how I'm going to roll with this. These are massive potatoes, and you don't really need a whole lot. I got onions at the bottom of the pan. How I've worked this is I put some oil on the beef. I put salt and pepper, and that's only spices I'm using. Okay, there we go. We got potatoes here. I'm going to add a little oil, some salt and pepper on the potatoes. Onions at the bottom. 450 degrees is preheated oven I extremely important to have it at 450 degrees with this beef i don't feel like we need anything else i want the beef to be really present instead of like the spices that's how i'm doing it you could certainly add whatever spices that you want to accentuate this beef but i feel like it, this is prime rib man this isn't just anything this ain't pot roast so i really want the beef to be present and delicious there's a lot of marbling if you look at it come on over again a lot of marbling this is just prime i guess it's like ribeye i believe that's what it is because prime rib is basically a steak it's a steak with bone in a bone in steak meshed together it costs a lot of money but you want to splurge once in a while for special occasions this is the new year man and i want to splurge for my new year's dinner so i chose to do ribeye bone in ribeye splash together and look at my baby i just think it's so pretty i can't stand it look at my baby so pretty he's so gorgeous and look it's an aluminum pan yeah because i don't look <laughs> because i don't stand on ceremony like that okay so it's a beautiful piece of beef in an aluminum pan hello i'm down like that i'm down like that all right so i'm going to salt and pepper at 450 degrees and i want medium rare so what we're going to do is i'm going to keep checking the internal temperature until it is like a medium rare temperature i don't want it overcooked i'm going to research a little bit more on that and what that's going to represent for me but i'm going to start it out at 450 if i need to cover it at that point i'll cover it but join me on the other side when i show you what prime rib will look like for you what you can make for your family prime rib 2023 we're starting it off delicious join me on the other side when i make prime rib on everything spice it's gonna be delicious baby it's gonna be delicious and beefy baby yeah this is prime beef you best believe it you deserve it you deserve it you deserve the best join me baby hey everybody this is it this is the prime rib I just took it out of the oven. The potatoes are perfectly cooked. And so is the prime rib. I did the temperature and it was 130. So it has to be at least 130 to 140 in order for it to be medium rare is which where I like it at. So what I'm gonna do is tent it, rest it, and then we're gonna cut into it and eat. I am so excited to have this. I can't even wait to bite into it. So it was about, I don't even know. It was, I dropped it, I had it at 450. Probably for like a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe even longer than that. 
and then dropped it down to 350 until it was fully cooked. So you have to keep checking the internal temperature every like hour or so just to see how you want it basically. Uh, 130 to 140 is medium rare. That's how I like it. So you're gonna have to cook it longer if you want it cooked more. But this is my prime rib, my 2023 New Year's roast. I absolutely love it. And if you like this episode as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you, please like and subscribe and join me next time for Everything Spice. Have a wonderful, safe, beautiful new year, everybody. Be safe.